becoming very exciting. <laughs> the first thing is that I'm going to the Creator Day at Summer in the City this year. <laughs> I really wanted to go last year, but I didn't quite have the funds, didn't have anyone to go with. But this year, I am going to be there. I'm going with my friend Sweet Potato Asia. It's just going to be a great day. I'm hoping to meet some other fellow small YouTubers, hoping to learn more about the community, etc. And just have a great day. I might vlog it. Probably will. I will vlog it. Yes, I will. <laughs> Hopefully it will just be a great day all in all. And I'm really looking forward to it. The next thing is I'm going to see Queen B at the end of June. I am going to see Beyonce in Cardiff. This is actually my first ever gig that I've gone to. I haven't lost my gig virginity. <gasps> I just, I just haven't. I just haven't got round to seeing anyone. <laughs> but I think Queen B, the one and only, is an amazing person to lose my concert virginity to and I'm very happy about that. I'm very excited. The next thing is I have booked my first tattoo. I'm getting tattooed on the 24th of June. I'm not gonna tell you what it's of though because it's a surprise. I have to travel up to Swindon, which is about an hour and a half from me on the train. So I'm going to vlog the whole journey. I'm going to vlog the actual deed happening. I'm quite nervous, but very excited. <laughs> And the last thing is The Danish Girl is out on DVD in six days. Six days! I'm very excited, as you can tell. I can't wait. Cannot wait. It is in my top four favourite films of all time. So that's going to be my life, re-watching and re-watching The Danish Girl with the amazing Eddie Redmayne and the gorgeous Alicia Vikander and I can't wait, can't wait. Little story for you now, I've actually just come back from the dentist with my mum. My mum doesn't like the dentist so she asked if I would go with her, which is understandable because I don't really know anyone that likes the dentist. <laughs> and when she was in having whatever it is she was having done, I was sat in the waiting room reading Charlie Chaplin's autobiography, which I was solidly reading all the time until I got about halfway through and it actually set me into a void because I, I'm not gonna go into it but I just basically I'm sad that I'm not alive when he is basically because I love him. <laughs> I decided to start reading it again and I've been able to read it fine without any voidness happening. So I took it to the dentist waiting room with me and I was reading it, everything was absolutely fine and then suddenly I got to the saddest part ever. The part when his mother died and I was just sat there and I had this woman sat directly next to me because I was in the waiting room upstairs where there were like three chairs and she was sat directly next to me and I was there, I stopped and I could feel tears coming in my eyes. I cry really easily, by the way, about everything that's sad, so this isn't unusual for me. <laughs> and I was just thinking to myself, don't cry. Please don't cry. Don't cry. No, you can't cry now because there's a woman sat next to you. You're gonna look like a total idiot if you cry. Stop crying! And it was so bad, I was just fighting back tears and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad and she looked at me and I looked at her and I smiled and <laughs> she just said I'm sure it's not that bad dear everyone hates the dentist <laughs> and I was like I'm not crying because of the dentist I don't even have an appointment I'm crying at my book <laughs> of course I didn't say that I just sort of looked at her and said okay <laughs> Oh my god, it was so bad. But now I know that even when I've just started trusting a book again, don't read it in public. <laughs> and this is advice to everyone. <laughs> I can just imagine her being at home now and telling her husband or her children that there was this girl that was so scared of the dentist that she actually was crying in the waiting room. And that girl is me.